Imagine waking up from a coma and finding yourself in an abandoned camp in an island. That's what happened to us in Tangles. I am Basil. My story begins with an end and ends with a beginning. I was part of a team of eight soldiers chosen to participate in a mysterious mission in an abandoned camp. On the first week of our arrival, I suffered a serious injury during training and fell into a coma. I fought death during that time and I couldn't remember anything except hearing my comrades fighting death on the other side. I would hear their screams from time to time until silence filled the place. I had no idea how much time had passed during my coma. It is certainly not a short time. But my story didn't end there. It had just begun. The cutscenes were really choppy. Hopefully the gameplay is smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. Explore the place. Behind every hour lie hours. Okay. It's locked. Of course. To the friend of yesterday and the enemy of the future. Basil, I know you will read this letter after I have left you alone, but I have no other choice. I left the camp after learning the bitter truth, a truth you are yet to discover, one that will weigh heavy on your heart as the years pass. I was supposed to leave you here to die, but harsh reality shows me that I won't, it won't happen. If I'm not, if, even if I tried, I feel a wildness that pushes me to let you endure the pain. Yet I know you'll carry the burden of those events in your heart for years to come. I leave you this letter as a sign of what happened. You don't understand it now, but you'll surely understand later. I have no choice but to leave you here in this dark island and this scarce camp. We will meet again, but in what manner? I don't understand. Okay, anything else? Seven ten. Who are they? Dark. The rain suddenly stopped. Oh, hello. Who's what? That guy? All for run. Is he crying? <laughs> Thought we were there alone. The exit from this place. So the crying is stop. Gate is closed. I might be able to open it through the control room. <laughs> of course, it's close. With a key card control device, but I doubt I'll be able to use it with the power outage. Get in the control room. I think it can be fixed, but I guess I need to search around to find useful item. Okay. Ah, it's open. We'll close that door.
What? One fuse is missing. Finally, I found some time to write in this memo. It has been long and exhausting day. I had to fix some electrical equipment that broke down after the weird things that happened two days ago. But there is one that bothers me. One of the fuses that is I needed for the electricity efficiency has disappeared. I learned that the security guard took it and didn't return it. I would like to report this problem to my commander, but he's too busy preparing for the next mission. Maybe I try again tomorrow. Until then, I leave this memo here in case the security guard comes back and wants to return the fuse. If anyone is reading this note, please don't mess with any of the equipment here. This equipment is very sensitive and dangerous if used incorrectly. I can't think of a logical reason for the security guard to take the fuse. Maybe it's just misunderstanding or maybe there is something bigger and more evil going on. I hope to find out the truth before it's too late. It's just a fuse. What can be so evil about it? This tape might be useful. Low electrical tape can be used to fix electrical wires found in the construction area. Okay, so probably we can fix that. Cable. There's a key over there. Okay, where should we search over here? What the hell is this room? Whoa. The steam is blocking my way. I need to find a way to stop the steam flow. Can we get a flashlight? What about this area? Is it? Yes, I can open it. It's a knife. I can plug a valve in here. Of course. History truth. Dreams. I never imagined that our trip would turn into a nightmare. I was enjoying my stay in the camp despite the fact that it was on a remote and lifeless island. I came with my colleagues to do our duty toward the country and we saw it a great opportunity to learn something new and get away from the pressures of the city. But what happened recently was quite the opposite as unusual things began to appear on the island. Some of my colleagues complained about losing some of their belongings and some of them said they saw and heard strange things in the middle of the night. I did not believe them at first, but I thought they were exaggerating. Until I myself witnessed a terrifying incident last night. I heard some noises and scary screams in the basement that is used to be a prison in the camp. I went to see what was happening, but I found the basement door locked with a chain. It was I was so afraid I did not dare to open it, so I quickly went back to my room and tried to sleep. When I woke up in the morning, I found a leak in the steam room. But the problem is not here. But the valve I need to stop the flow of steam has disappeared. And if I do not find it soon, there might be damage and losses uh, in the camp. I searched for it everywhere without success. I do not know who took it. Does the chaos that happened last night have anything to do with this disappearance? I tried to ask the help from the commander and tell him everything that happened. But I did not see him since last night. I wish I could get out of, out of this island before I go crazy or something bad happens to me. Okay. So far we need a valve in the key card. We need a fuse. That's this. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the hell? What the fuck? No one is inside the vehicle. 
What? Door is chained. I need to find a tool to break it. Okay, another thing that they need to find. So maybe can I? No. Don't think there is any way. Okay. Now what? I think we checked everything, right? What's can I go back there? No. So what? What did I miss? Maybe I can go from here. I cannot crouch. No, I can't crouch. Huh. Oh, there's a ladder here. Can it be? No. Where did this what? corpse come from? What the hell? What the fuck? Huh. The clock is still 7.10. Let's see. So there was a key in that room. It's working. I can't sleep. Something inexplicable happened. It was a normal night like any other night. I was in control room watching Lost and drinking tea. When it was midnight, I saw something in the steam room through the monitors. I wasn't sure what it was, so I left the control room and went to the steam room. When I entered the steam room, I didn't find anything strange, but I heard some weird noises behind me. But the room was empty. Suddenly, I heard the door closing hard behind me. I went to the door and tried to open it, but it was locked so tightly I couldn't get out. I felt... Panic and fear. I didn't know what happened, so I shouted to the top of my voice, uh, hoping someone would help me. Then I heard a sound from outside as if someone was pulling out of out the fuse to disable the door lock. Then the door opened and I ran to control them and didn't look behind me. I have no explanation for what happened and I don't know who closed the door and who helped me. But it's something that can't be ignored. I suspect the crazy geologist for he may have something to do with what happened or he may be telling the truth in his explanation of everything that happens. But what I do know is that the camp is not safe anymore. Since we arrived at the camp, strange things keep happening. I'll leave this note here in case something happens to me. Okay. Locker key. What's this for? The lever is useless with the unstable electricity, but I might find a way to keep the electricity stable. So we are going to face some paranormal stuff in this camp. Let's check the locker first. Do you see here? Yeah. Bolt cutters. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
even time in this place suffocates in mystery. What? Shit. Oh. Another dead body. What, what is the happening fuck? here? Okay, it's getting crazy. Okay, another one. The dead surround me from everywhere. My case is we were responsible for these deaths, maybe. Okay, bolt cutters. We need to go that basement. I don't remember the fog being this thick. That's a bad sign. What the fuck? Is he the same guy I saw in the window? What is he doing here? What the <laughs> No escape. I came to this island to do my duty as a soldier and as geologist, but it has been a month since I was arrested by my commander, who accuses me of spreading rumors and myths among the soldiers and affecting their morale. They locked me in a dark and cold cell, not allowing me to communicate with anyone. They took away all my weapons, my uniform, and my identity, leaving me with only this note and pen. It's been three days since I last saw a guard come into my cell. No one gave me food or water and I feel dehydrated and weak. I'm afraid to die of hunger and thirst in this dark place. What happened to everyone in the camp? Did they leave? Or perhaps they all disappeared like the others? Yes, when I was doing geological measurement at C2 area, I accidentally detected extraordinary fluctuation in the camp's electromagnetic field. Fluctuations far beyond normal limits. After many measurements, I have concluded that this camp is located above a very strong ele electromagnetic field, and this field causes disturbance in time, causing some strange phenomena such as the appearance of things that do not belong in this time in the form of flashes that occur randomly in different places of the island. These flashes are only reflections of events from the recent past, allowing for a partial transfer of matter and energy between time and space, but randomly and unstable for a few seconds. I saw some of these flashes with my own eyes and I was terrified and surprised. I have personally seen corpses of soldiers from old wars and I have also been seen a war pl plane flying over the island, strange sounds and lights heard and seen at night and things moving from one place to another for no apparent reason. I have a lot of questions so I decided to share my findings with my colleagues and ask them to help answer those questions, but they did not believe me and reported me to the commander who came to me and ordered me to be taken away by force. He said that I was spreading rumors and causing panic among the soldiers, that I was obstructing the performance of our mission and then he threw me into the cell. And here I am now, trapped in this dark place with no hope of salvation. I don't know what happened to my colleagues or to those who disappeared. Maybe they are in another place or at another time. Or maybe it was me who disappeared. Huh. The closer I get to discovering the truth, the more mysterious it becomes. It's getting interesting. In a tragic incident, a jet belonging to the National Air Force crashed on a deserted island located in a remote area of the sea, killing the pilot who was flying it. According to the official sources, the jet was on a military mission over the camp that is located on the island which has been witnessing violent crashes with the rebels. The cause of the crash is not yet clear, but there are suspicions that suspicion that it may have been under fire from one of the warning factions. Warring factions. The Army General Command announced an investigation into the incident. 
mourning the pilot and praising the bravery and sacrifices in defense of the country. They stressed that this incident would not deter them from continuing to fight rebels and maintain security and stability in the country, expressing condolences to the pilot's family and colleagues. We seriously need a flashlight or some source of light. It's getting dark. Uh oh. Oh. The fuck? I have to think carefully before going down the stairs. What? What do you mean, think carefully? Do we have another option? Of course there is. The valve. Something is going to jump at me anytime, I think. Shit, which one is Is someone knocking the door? Hello? <gasps> whoa, 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 what? What happened? Oh my god. What? Valve, we found the valve. Let's go to the steam room. I have the valve now. What should I do next? Oh, that's really your question? <laughs> okay, where was the valve thingy? Here? I think it was here. Is that a fuse on the chair? If you are reading this, I'm one of the technicians here. I wanted to inform you that the circuit breaker here is not working, not only because it is broken, but also because the electrical loads in this camp have reached unprecedented levels. Since the basement was built under the camp, the electrical loads have begun to increase like crazy. With every operation of devices and systems, we notice a decrease in the stability of electricity. The circuit breaker is not able to handle these high loads and the result is frequent outages and disruptions in the supply of electricity. Things are getting worse day by day and this poses a big challenge for the technical team. So we may find ourselves in complete darkness soon if things continue like this. We are doing our best to address the problem but it seems this, uh, that the cutter needs to be improved and developed to suit those loads. Or loads should be reduced by turning off electricity when not needed. 
If you know of any solutions or suggestions that help us improve the situation, we are waiting to hear from you. And until then, you should be prepared for sudden power outages. S oh! Was here. Fuck! What the hell? Okay. That we have to go to the basement and probably shut down the power. What a long night. Okay. the hell this place drives me crazy stop talking make me nervous uh oh here we go that's shit Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Can I take this candle with me, please? Shit, shit. Oh, fucking hell. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, your eyes are glowing. What? Get out, get out. This fucking noise of... I don't know what's that. It's giving me chills every time I hear it. Fuck is happening. Is it safe for me to go out now? Or maybe should I just go there and check? Who the hell was that? Did he go here or here? No one is here.
<laughs> that was it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was a free game, so I wasn't expecting that much from this, but yeah, it was fun. A little short kind of horror mystery game. Also, the game says that there is more if you play. You can find more documents and something. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, the secret documents. What's this one? From the memories of Soldier Puzzle, I learned that there were five secret documents in the camp. And if I found them, doors might open for me to understand the secrets of that island and the camp and what happened there. However, things are not easy. As the secret documents only appear at certain moment for a limited period of time due to mysterious temporal influences of the, on the island. Among the secret documents, there is a secret document that appears in the control room after opening the locker and taking the bolt cutter. But this appears once the basement chain is cut. So I have to get the secret document before I enter the basement or I have to restart my adventure all over again. Hint to get the first secret document. Open the locker and get the chain cutter. The secret document will appear in the control room. You have to take the secret document before cutting the chain and entering the basement. Otherwise it will disappear and you have to... Huh. I have to play again. So I found all those secret documents after playing for two times. Uh, okay, here they are. You can read them. And I'm going to say goodbye. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next one. Take care and have fun.